All right, welcome to Araton Empire, still your Gitan boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate. Guys, let's just forget about the intro because today's gist is very long, interesting, and educating. And I can't wait to dive in. Guys, we have a lot to talk about. We'll be talking about matters arising in Ghana and in Nigeria. We'll be talking about Ghana president, Akufado. He has been trending. I'll be giving you all the intro. And also, we'll be talking about Samini pastors in Ghana attacking Akufuado. Guys, we have a lot to talk about. Black Sheriff, Bonabo, Atiku, Tinibu, Pitobi, 5,000 bishops and imam, they have come out to endorse Pitobi. And also, we'll be talking about Pastor Suleiman and all the saga surrounding him. So we have a lot to talk about in this episode. Just stay tuned, follow up with the gist because this gist will be coming with episode one, episode two, and episode three. That's why I said it's long, interesting, and educating. Just stay tuned, but before we dodge in place, subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Just stay tuned. So quickly, let's move over matters arising in Nigerian politics. Now let's talk about P2B. Honestly speaking, the way people are clamoring, solidating, like emerging to support, to openly declare and, and endorse P2B is, is, is a clear version of Nigerians, their hope has risen again. Their hopes has come alive again. Because P2B, everyone thinks now that the only eligible candidate we can look up to is not any other person than P2B. That P2B is the man of the match now. If P2B no play the match, nobody go play. That is what people are making us to understand. That P2B is the main match for it. Why am I saying this? On Saturday, 5,000 bishops and imams, they came out in their numbers and they went to Labour and they went to Labour Party Secretariat to endorse, to openly support P2B, making it clear that they are supporting P2B. And why, why they were saying that they were interviewed and their leader stated the fact that, listen, we don't have any hope again. In this article and Tinibu, because APC and PDP they have failed Nigeria over times. They have failed Nigeria over times. Although Peter B was a former candidate of PDP, but he did come to Labour Party because of his presidential ambition. But nevertheless, Peter B is the only one person we can single out now that that doesn't have any background of incubatis that doesn't have the background of vukakabi of the phenomenon i'm mean, gonna mind my english so at this point i'm in the spirit so guys honestly speaking the hopes that nigeria are putting for where people be is 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 mind busted is mind busted and we hope we believe that people be we bring the change that we want. Because whether you like it or not, God, we are praying for God to bring change. And if God brings the change, it's left for us to accept the change. God is not the person that will come down and place the change there. No. He has provided the change. Now we, we need to work with our mentality, our sensibility, and not to sell our conscience to vote for the change. Let us vote for the right person. Honestly speaking, that is all. Still on the matters arising in the camp of P2B, hmm, P2B has finally been vindicated. Days ago, the governor of Kano, Erufai, came out and accused P2B of detaining him, of arresting him back then in 2013. That P2B, that no, no Northerner should vote for P2B, that P2B is a man of division. He believes in ethnicity. This is the trick that Erufai came with 
to attack P2B. So P2B later came out and made it clear that if Erufai was even arrested in Anambra State during 2013, that he wasn't aware of it. He has no, in fact, that arrest, you know, even smell him in, in, in nose. He doesn't know anything about the arrest. So now, fast forward to it, ladies and gentlemen, and evidence has come out to clear all that, to clear all speculations, all rumors, labeling against P2B that he was responsible for Erufai's arrest in Anambra State. And that report now is stating that actually Erufai was arrested and he was detained in his hotel for some reasons. And after that, even Erufai came out and stated the fact that the people that arrested him, there were state security service that arrested him for one or two things that happened. So he didn't refer it to P2B. And this was coming clearly. And even the, 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 the court issues were stated there clearly. P2B was never involved in anything that we are that they were doing then. Peter B doesn't have any idea of the court case or his arrest. So the evidence that they brought out now clears all doubt that Peter B was the one that arrested Erufai. So you see how they are trying to tarnish his image. They have looked front and back. They know see within the Gokari again tarnish his, his image. Now they want to use this to enforce on Kanu so that Kanu people will say, oh, P2B, his ethnicity, like he's a man of division and he believes in ethnicity. But finally, their plans has flopped. And this is why I'm saying that we need to be wise and vote for the right person. May we? Still on matters arising in politics, now we are still talking about P2B. And I know, say, Election don't they reach, and you know how these politicians they do. They will be finding one or two things to bring their opponents down. But it they surprise them how the more they are trying to bring things to bring, like the more they are trying to accumulate things or to bring up things to to bring down P2B's you know campaign or people's hope towards P2B, the more the fire is burning. So why am I saying this? Buhari's head, Bashiru, he has come out to accuse P2B of donating 24 loaves of bread to flood victims. That why is he donating only loaves of bread to, to them? Meanwhile, it's not P2B that donated it. It's the supporters, obedient supporters. They are the ones that donated it. Let me read what he tweeted when no blessed just the carry the talk. Now, this is what Bashiru Ahmed tweeted. A former governor and presidential candidate donating a grinding machine and 24 loaves of bread to thousands of flood victims. Comrade, we are in 2022, for God's sake. We urge you to respect your family and correct it. This is what presidential aide, Buhari's aide, came to tweet, attacking obedience, attacking P2B, that he donated grinding machines and 24 loaves of bread to the victims. Why? It wasn't P2B. It wasn't P2B. So after he made that claim, a report came out stating the fact that P2B went to Bayasa, went to Kano, went to Koji State, and P2B never donated 24 loaves of bread or even donate grinding machines to those victims. That it was just the supporters that felt like, you know, to help people, the victims. They are the people that donated it. So the report came out, the evidence came out, stating it clear. You see it? That is the way they are trying to tarnish his image. They are trying to tarnish his campaign. Meanwhile, our daddy in the Lord, the presidential candidate, APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinibu, he has gone to Kanu 
to donate 100 million naira to the flood victims. Only come. Only come. Now, apart from Kanu, you no care about other ones. It's not only Kanu that this flood affected. The flood affected so many states in Nigeria. But he went to only Kanu to donate, and that is it. Bayasa was there. Koji was there. Many states were, were, were affected, but he never went there. So after that report went viral, on social media, socialites, they were asking him the reason why he went to only Kano State to donate. When other people are going from state to state, you know the only Kano State that this thing affected. And some people are making it clear that the reason why he went to Kano State to donate such amount of money is because he's targeting his vote from Kano and Lagos. And after I read that thing, mm, he made loud is clear. You see it? He went to Kano State and let's be sincere, Kano State holds a lot of population. When you come to Kano State, they are populated. So if Tinubu can get vote from Kano and Lagos State, he's good to go. So this is his, his main target. That is his main focus. They know, say, so whenever they have supporters for Kano, they are good to go. So when it comes to matters arising in Kano, they want to attack it. Like they want to represent as if they are the savior. And there is one comment that I saw that I decided to bring it so that the whole thing will be clear. Let me read it. This is coming from Mas Chinedu. There is flooding in Koji, Benue, Bayasa, Anambra and Tinibu is only donating to Kanu. This is this is it. Flooding they every Tinibu only donated to Kanu. Does it mean that other people doesn't need that help? You see? We need to be wise. We need to be wise. And vote for the right person. When you see their actions, you you know who is selfish and who is not selfish. When you see their action, you know who is selfish, who truly is just like the person that is just doing it, just to get that vote, and someone that is truly doing it to help people, you will know. And now talking about the flooding that happened, honestly speaking. Is a sad one because a lot of states, a lot of people we are we are affected. A lot of people were displaced. They are homeless, as I'm speaking to you right now. So it has affected this flood, has accept, has affected a lot of Nigerians. And a lot of them has been asking for help all over. And please, if you are in a position to help, help people you can. Whatever you give. God will also bless you. But before I leave, I would like to leave you with this heartwarming, melting message that is coming from a good Samaritan who was also affected by the flooding. May no bless her, just the carry the talk. Oh, yeah. Still on the flooding, by highlighting this young man with the most amazing vocals, he, like many other flood victims, have found themselves displaced from their homes young man who is reportedly in Bielsa State was heard singing in a video posted on Twitter a rendition of Michael Jackson's Heal the World while carrying a child to safety as they were both submerged in flood water. Let's take a look.
dear heart, people dying. If you care enough for your living, make it a better place for you and for me. Make it a better place for you and for me and the entire world. I mean, that man, that young, young man is completely fantastic. We are calling on Don Jazzy and everyone who can find this young man up. Uh, Dr. Abati, really quick. Heal the world. I can talk to you. The world is in need of healing. Nigeria is in need of healing. All right, guys, that will be all in this episode. Just stay tuned, stay glued because I'm coming back with the second episode. And you know what? That episode is very controversial, interesting, and educating. Just stay tuned because I'll be bringing it very shortly. But please remember to subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget like, comment, share with your friends so that you can actually stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Just stay tuned, I'm coming right back. Thanks for watching. God bless.